Good afternoon, this is Behind the Build on the Lotus E7. In our previous episode, we talked to Kyle about the custom welding rear stabilization as well as the transmission tunnel. Kyle is currently fitting the polycarbonate plates for the tunnel. Before that, we talked to Duncan about moving on with some of the smaller details like the side view mirrors, the vehicle lighting, dash lights and switches, and the tonneau cover. Let's see what Duncan's up to today. What am I up to? Sourcing parts. Um, the last little bits of switches, headlight hazard, um, turn signals, all the above, procuring the necessary pieces that we think will be uh, fitting for the car and you know, showing some decent quality. Um, also finishing up the wiring harness up front, or starting the wiring harness, <clears throat> which will be this one that will run from the dashboard out to our front lighting horn, horn. The blinkers are gonna be in the headlights, so that negates having to put additional components out here. And then I'll be moving on to the rear of the car's uh, lighting from backup lights, brake lights, turn signals, all the above. Um, yeah, so that's coming along. Um, some of it gets a little slow and tedious at times, but uh, then all of a sudden we have this big acceleration of accomplishments. And uh, so later in the week, we should definitely be getting a, a better report overall. But, uh, awesome, I yeah. see you put the uh Mirrors on the sides here, side the, view mirrors. Yeah, we got the mirrors located. They're nice and solid. They're backed with a full metal plate on the interior and then washered and lock nutted. So there's a nice bit of clamping force that we're not going to break them off the car. Um, we also got the rear cap or cover of the car bodywork um, secured and strengthened with a steel rib. As we did discover at the show that people were leaning on this and it produced a small crack right here which opened up a good bit but so pushed everything back into place put in this rib with solid attaching points to the frame of the vehicle um, enlarge this slightly because this is intended to be a workshop vehicle so this cap will be removed repeatedly and so i want to make it as easy as possible but i wanted to keep it nice and tight but removable and uh, so that worked out well yeah we finished off the the tonal cover um, all those snaps work out quite nicely now and but we have a little more work to do in here so of course it's open oh um, it's looking great yeah. let's uh, see what you got going further on in the week sounds Thank like you a plan. so much for your time you betcha have a great day have a great day